Well, I've been to some amazing beaches, Revere Beach, Nantasket Beach, um, uh, Onset Beach, but I'm here on Trunk Bay in St. John, Virgin Islands. This is hands down one of the most beautiful locations I've ever seen. And then come to find out they're having a wedding here and I meet these two guys. One happens to be from Massachusetts and they're the top wedding planners and organizers in all of the Virgin Islands, I think. How many weddings do you do a year? I do about 300. Stuart does even more so. Do about, about 600 about. a year officiating and 600 weddings a year. The East Coast people tend to come down to St. Thomas, and St. Thomas is a big destination just in St. John just because it's the U.S., so it makes the legal part of the wedding a little bit easier to deal with. And w tell me about the services that you provide, because I would guess that being from out of town and not really knowing the island and maybe just seeing things in movies and on the internet. Um, I want to have a wedding here. I want to, you know, have my family, but there's a lot of logistics that go into that. That's what you guys do? We do. We set up everything that the bride needs for her wedding day. So we help with recommendations for catering, photography, music. We're their point of contact. And so we're the ones that they come to when they trust on the island. Any kind of questions they have for travel accommodations, airfare, we're here to help. You hear that? She said they help the bride. The groom, <laughs> just get him uh, some Karib, a six pack of Karib and uh, he's fine but uh, you know how many what, what kind of size groups do you accommodate in this kind of uh, this kind of field from two people all the way up to 150 people I mean I've, I've seen weddings from a million and a half dollars and all the way down to a simple 200 300 dollar wedding on the beach barefoot I think that's pretty standard across the board yeah it makes the job interesting one day you know you're just barefoot on the beach with a bride in a bikini and the next day you've got a million dollar event at a multi-million dollar villa so it keeps it keeps the work exciting now here's the other elephant in the room here is that all of those dates that you're doing, when do you get to enjoy this beautiful, <laughs> these beautiful views? I mean, two little kids, so not very often. We very rarely go to the beach because we're on the beach every day. So, at the same time, when this is your office, it's really not. I mean, you can enjoy your work and enjoy the beach at the same time. So, tell me the process. Somebody is seeing this, they're like, I want to reach out to them and connect and really get um, uh, to know what you folks do. I'm sure there's an online presence. Tell me how somebody can reach out. Well, the best thing to do is email us. And I love it when a bride emails me and tells me what her vision is. If she tells me I want something really formal, I want something really informal, I'm expecting two people or I'm expecting 800 people, you know, give me an idea of what you have in mind and then I just work with her to find the perfect venue, the perfect package, perfect combination for her wedding day. It looks like you found the perfect package and this guy is a Massachusetts guy. And then once they are sort of involved in the process, how long usually do you think uh, people need to take in order to plan sort of the ideal time without too much pressure or stress? Depending on the size of the wedding, but we've actually had calls from a cruise ship of a crying bride that got rerouted from a Western Caribbean to the Eastern Caribbean. And so we had a marriage license for her. We had a venue caterer for 25 people, DJ, within two days. So it's obviously not an ideal situation, but it's doable. We can do it in short notice, or we can also do it in long-term notice. So. You hear that? drive through weddings. A cruise ship, they'll just pull right up. You throw the documents right in, then you're on your way. You can't beat that. You don't need to go to Vegas. Just come on down. <laughs> exactly. We can make it happen. Amazing. Thank you so much. And there is the New England connection here. He was uh, in Dover and where else? In Holliston as well. Holliston. And then what, what about you? Any New England connection well, whatsoever? That's where I met him. I met, Your yeah. children have New England, you know, blood they in do. them. They yeah. do, yeah. Where are you from? I'm originally from Indiana. Okay, so it's Larry Bird country. That's close enough. That's an honorary New Englander. Well, I mean, you, you got to hook up with these people when you are considering um, wanting to have the most ideal heavenly wedding and I, I can't believe yeah I mean this is this is amazing here and thank you so much for for just meeting up with us and letting us share in this and what we'll let you guys get back to work I know how busy you are and we're gonna go enjoy the rest of the island so enjoy. these are another couple of reasons why life is so great in New England <laughs>